Jack and Jill, what? No. More like Jackass and Jerk. Oh my god, this movie sucks. I will give you reasons why I hate this movie in my opinion. The way Adam Sandler plays the two titular characters is poorly done, as unlike Eddie Murphy's roles as the Gloomps in The Nutty Professor, 1996, the twins here are pretty much the same, as Jill is just a fat Adam Sandler with a girly voice. The film gets the identical twin fact completely wrong. Identical twins must be identical. If they are two different genders, then they are fraternal twins, two completely different babies who happen to be born at the same time from the same mom. Ridiculous and laughable concept about an obnoxious sibling reuniting with the other one and hilarious events occur as a result. Product placement everywhere, with them even being the focus of the story, for example, Jack trying to get Al Pacino to advertise Dunkin' Donuts. Horrendous jokes such as the part where Jill dresses herself up and the infamous part where an old woman gets hit with an object and when both Jack and Jill both act the same way in the movie theater. Both Jack and Jill are unlikable in their own different ways, especially Jill because she can be quite selfish and rather whiny sometimes. For example, she complained and sulked all because there was just one birthday cake. Also, Jill's appearance is very ugly, and all you can see is Adam Sandler and drag. Worse for worse, at the Mexican party, his drag is hinted to the characters as one person literally looks under her skirt to make sure Jill was a female. If she was actually gorgeous then maybe everybody would believe she's a woman. Terrible acting, save for Al Pacino, who is considered to be one of the best parts of the film. Lots of pointless celebrity cameos featuring Drew Carey, Johnny Depp, Christy Brinkley, Vince Offer, etc. It also features a cameo from Jared Fogel which did not age well because of the you know what. Jill's voice is ear piercing and annoying. Sandler previously used the voice for a 1996 audio sketch called Do It For Mama, which works better that way. Cringeworthy dialogue. In fact, the most infamous quote is when Jill said she needed to make chocolate squirties, and the worst thing of all is that Jack and Darren were eating chocolate pudding or soup, well whatever it was, it's still chocolate. Thanks for grossing everyone out. The Dunkachino isn't a product made up for the movie, by the way. It's an actual product you can buy. Also, if Al Pacino changed his first name from Al to Dunk, his full name would be Dunk Pacino not Dunkachino since it uses the Pacino and removes the first two letters of it. False advertising, in the different trailers, promotions, posters and marketing that was distributed in Latin America and Europe for the film. The character of Eugene Yoderbez, Felipe, appears as if he were the protagonist or co-protagonist of the film, however Felipe, has an extremely minor role in the film, in fact only appears in a maximum of about 5 or 6 minutes. The story is predictable and non-existent, you can just replace the characters with even more generic ones and you can still guess the plot easily. Poor editing where a lot of scenes come out of nowhere such as the Dunkachino scene. The Thanksgiving dinner scene would make sense if it took place at the end of the film instead since it felt like it was added at the last minute. Felipe's grandmother, Joangelina, who was also played by Eugene Yoderbez looks way too horrible. Her voice is out of place and she's shown too much which makes her downright terrifying and nightmare-inducing. So much unneeded padding. The scene where the dog named Poopsie goes into the chocolate fountain caused internet-wide controversy, since in reality, chocolates are bad for dogs and would give them a huge problem. Pop culture references in every single scene such as cats and dogs too, which is somewhat better than this film. The Mexican stereotypes are offensive, perhaps even more so than the Chinoo's stereotype and hop. Jack's wife, Erin, is unlikable and bland, as she scolded Jack for yelling at Jill in the theater even though Jill was in the wrong for answering her phone loudly. And that's how the movie is. Thank God I never watched that movie and I never will, or else it would waste my time. I don't know who likes this movie, so I'm just going to leave it be. Who hates this movie? Mark the Wolf. He made a rant on this movie. So screw Jack and Jill. And screw Dora and the Lost City of Gold. The Mitchells vs. The Machines is 62,356 times better than Jack and Jill. End of rant.